The story of Surafil. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Surafil. It's a story from the year when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam was born. His grandfather, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib, was a very respectable person in Mecca. People from other places used to visit the Kaaba for pilgrimage. More and more people visited the Kaaba and brought more trade opportunities to the people of Mecca. At that time, Abraha was the king of Yemen. He built a beautiful church and called it the Kaaba to attract people to Yemen. Now anybody will come to Yemen instead of coming to Mecca. Then we will be rich and famous. We will also have a lot of more trade opportunities. But people did not believe in this fake Kaaba and continued to visit Mecca. Abraha became very angry and he decided to attack the Kaaba. According to some narrations, in Abraha's army there were 13 elephants and many horses and camels. Abraha was riding a very big elephant named Mahmud. On the way to Mecca, Abraha captured 200 camels who belonged to Hazrat Abdul Muttalib. A man from Abraha's army invited Hazrat Abdul Muttalib to come and see Abraha, since he was the leader of the people of Mecca. Return my 200 camels. They belong to me. What? I have come to destroy your place of worship, and you are speaking of your camels instead of pleading to save the Kaaba? The camels belong to me, and I have come for them. The Kaaba belongs to Allah, and it is the concern of the owner of the Kaaba to save it or to leave it to its fate in your hands. Abraha was shocked to hear that and returned the camels. Hazrat Abdul Muttalib suggested the people of Mecca to leave the Kaaba and Allah is going to protect his house. Then Abraha tried to attack the Kaaba, but the elephants refused to attack the Kaaba and, according to some narrations, bowed down to the Kaaba. At the same time, a huge flock of birds appeared holding pebbles in their beaks and claws and attacked the army of Abraha. Most of them died at once. Abraha was very severely injured and he later died in Yemen. This incident was a warning to all arrogant people to know that they can never stand against the power of Allah. We all should submit to Allah's command. Around 50 days of this incident, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born in whose presence brightened the world. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Bye.